I'm wondering if you guys can help me ID this chili pepper that I have because I don't think it's the Carolina Reaper. So about a month or two ago, my colleague who also grows her own food came in with some chili peppers and she was like, oh, hey Kat, I know you like hot chilies. So I thought you might like this. And she gave me a Carolina Reaper chili pepper that she'd been given by one of her um, plot neighbors. And apparently this plot neighbor loves his chilies, loves super hots, so he grew some Carolina Reapers. And the hottest chili that I've ever grown is actually the ghost chili that I'm growing this year. But prior to that, it's been just a Scotch bonnet. Well, I say just a Scotch bonnet, we're still talking 150,000 on the Scoville scale, whereas your normal jalapeno is somewhere between two and 6,000. The Carolina Reaper is the world's hottest chili pepper at 1 million on the Scoville scale. So I've been quite scared of this plant, especially when I'm repotting it and um, just being near it, to be honest. But um, they've got some chilies forming on it and I don't think that they're Carolina Reapers. Tell me what you think, because the shape is very unusual, but also the growth of this was very quick. It's grown quite tall. And I know that super hots are much slower growing, take ages to fruit and mature and flower. And I just have my doubts. So um, take a look and see if you guys might know what this is. This is it right here. And it's already got some fruits on and my interesting label. I made sure I gave it a very clear label so that I didn't get it muddled and confuse it with any others. But you see, it's quite tall already and it's put on so much growth in the last few months. But these peppers, mm, they really don't look like Carolina Reapers, do they? Carolina Reapers are very round. They've got that distinguished little tail and they're very knobbly and gnarly. This is not round, it doesn't have a tail. In fact, it looks like it's got a mouth. Look at that. <laughs> it does have a few ridges. I mean, it, there's a chance it could perhaps be a cross if this person saves their own seed, you know, maybe it cross-pollinated with something. But look, it's almost like it's an inverted tail. It's gone inward. So what do you think? It's, um, it's not a chili pepper I recognize. Although some of them did actually remind me, <laughs> has anybody here heard of the Peter pepper? It's a bit of a rude one. They kind of reminded me a little bit like that to start with. But um, yeah, I just, uh, I'm a bit disappointed in some ways and also a bit relieved because I was kind of looking forward to trying the world's hottest chili, but also very scared. Um, but I just don't think it is that anymore. Please do let me know if you've got some thoughts. It does have some ribs, look. Maybe it will change shape as it grows, but you know, that one is very, very long for what should be quite a round chili. And in terms of the plant size, let me just pull it out so you get a bit of a differentiation. There you go. So it's about 40 centimeters and uh, it's fruiting now at the end of July, which I wasn't expecting. And my colleague who also has the same plants is looking very similar. So we're not quite sure. Um, have you got any ideas or suggestions on what it could be? Or maybe this is just what they do. Maybe they change shape a lot or have long versions. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I might have a, a Carolina Reaper, but I'm kind of confident that I don't. So yeah, we'll see how that one goes. I guess the only real way of knowing is to actually eat it when it ripens. I'm quite scared of that. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.